All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Hinamatsuri, Episode 1. That's right. It All finally right. won a poll. Yeah, and uh, this this show I've heard many good things about. Uh, that it's a that it's a very funny show. Mm -hmm. It's yep. a very ridiculous show, and, and in a lot of ways, it's kind of the the uh, the the Konosuba level humor for those that have been missing Konosuba, which is high praise indeed. Right, and I I know absolutely nothing about the plot, about the mm -hmm. story, like what the general like premise is or what have you. But uh, I, yeah. I am very excited for more comedy because it's been yes. a while, I think, since we've had a like a modern comedy other than Konosuba, really. Right. Like, yeah. Even with regards to watching one, you know, just off the channel, like Nichi Joe, for instance, you know. Right. Like a lot of the well, and even then, like Nichi Joe is old. I mean, like, yes, but that's about as modern as comedy's gotten for me. Right. Other than really, uh, yeah, uh, that there. I guess we did do Kaguya recently. Uh, Kaguya, yes, that Kaguya was was mm -hmm. was, was that that was really. Um, the one other thing I do know about this is that that apparently Emily is voices one of the characters in a dub, and I believe there might be some points where the character does some singing. What? But that's that's about all I know. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. That's really I know, right? cool. Oh, yeah. shout out to Emily on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's legit. Um, okay, so yeah, this is uh, a one core show, mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, yep, just uh, a new show, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> nice animation. That's random. Oh, what? Okay. Oh my god! Yes. This is fluid. What? It is start off swinging. Literally. All right. Uh, and then he runs. Watch. Oh. <laughs> ah! My smartphone! <laughs> what? What? Wait. What? What? Wait. Ah! Um. What? Yeah, nani kore. And that like thing dropped on his head, but he's totally fine. I don't think it's that heavy then. Sure. Ah! <laughs> the only logical <laughs> right, right. response. Right, right. the psychokinetic girl. Oh, okay. okay. So psychic, uh, psychic powers and stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. So obviously there's gonna be a girl in the pod. But but three years. Like, yeah, yeah. And he's just still completely ignoring <laughs> yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 Oh my. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All those expensive vases. Right, right. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Just repair it. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He just clued into that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Super secret organization. Can't tell you that either. Oh, not really. Huh. <laughs> 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 Right, right. Because <laughs> he's apparently this, this he's apparently this super rich guy, and oh. all of them. Oh my gosh! Ah. Wow! Whoa! Wow! I'm guessing all sweets. Oh my god, Kobe <laughs> beef! What the hell? <laughs> Oh. oh my god. <laughs> yare, yare. <laughs> oh. So yeah. she's probably been locked up in some kind of facility. Uh huh. And yep. has never experienced all the things of life, but yeah. knows about them. <laughs> and it was probably a hostile environment, so yeah. that's, you know, why she's threatening him so much, right? Right. Oh, 
ついたら腹切ってしまう<笑>バラエティ見た<笑>あ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>、oh, she's great <笑> well, see, cause Oh, I don't need to fight. Yeah. Yeah, so grown ups in her, in her world gave her instructions and fought her, basically. Right, or had her fight for them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the mysterious transfer student, here That's we go. That's right. With crazy telekinetic powers. Nita Hina. So Hina is the first name? Who? <laughs> Okay, gotcha. That's his last name. <laughs> his head is completely right. elsewhere. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, hearing her actual name, right? Aww. <laughs> wow. Nice. Mm. Yoga. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! <笑>わあ。わあ。じゃ、画面ジーニアス。どこ行くの? Oh my god. Wow. wow. That's crazy. This is so, like, hilarious and wholesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is what you know, might end up becoming the problem, is that... Wow. There's a development Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone getting greedy. Yeah. And then things turned a bit... Uh... Yep. 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 The boss got shot. Wait, are they a gang? <laughs> I just noticed the swords and the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. And he's not going to ask her for help. No. But she might help him because she cares. I love how they just don't question the fact. Yeah, this is your brat kid, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, totally. And she's like, yeah, I'm his brat kid, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's killing someone high profile. Yeah, uh -huh. Like, he's probably gonna die. Yep. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah, Yakuza, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's been coded to be like eliminate all enemies. Oh, she just crap. crushes the building from the outside. Exactly. Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah. Even like looking at. That's the first time we've seen her like smile. Oh. 
So she didn't actually kill any of them. Just bringing the person that he wants. Yeah, yeah. And he can kill him. Not bad! <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> this is such a good gag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. Because it's not a reward for the order. It's basically saying thank you, you know. <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> She's like, I thought it had to be on rice. <laughs> what was the point of going for sushi? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I have become a woman. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> this is the adult world. I eat this, I become a woman. No, no, that's yeah. not how that works. Not how that works. You know? Yeah. This is awkward father daughter kind yeah. of situation here, but like. She's a psychic, and I love it. I love yeah. it so much. I, when they did the whole three years ago, I didn't expect that they would spend the entire episode. Yeah, like we didn't even three finish ago, really like, the three years ago part. Yeah, like, like in some ways, I'm hoping they stay in this three years ago. Right, kind but of at section the same time, I'm curious, like, what what's going to be happening, like, at the present day, present time, you know? What I think it is, is that slowly but surely, she has to reconcile her past. So, people come looking for her. Mm -hmm. She makes new friends. I mean, they meet other psychics. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Six hours later! Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, did he just pee himself? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Wow. <laughs> The Terminator. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Terminator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is a show. Oh my god. This is a show. This wow. is a show. Wow. I love it. Okay. All right. That this was a fantastic great. first episode. This is wonderful. Like, cause oh, okay, this here, is so good. Thing. Like with the whole idea of like the the child with. the crazy telekinetic powers yes, and stuff and indeed. like okay mm -hmm. so like it made me it makes me think like elf and lead especially with like the whole okay yeah go into a complex to kill someone but like but instead completely they the, wholesome but it, but like wholesome and cartoonish with how they yes. do the action and everything yes. so it's just you, she just throws everything out and it's just oh uh, uh, pfft ouchie you know like <laughs> Then she just comes out holding the dude, and it's like, is this who we want? And they don't actually show him, like, even killing the person, because we know that at that point, he basically was like, okay, well, pff, pff, you know. I mean, we don't even know that necessarily. Yeah, potentially What could have basically done is just been like, you guys are finished. Right. Like, if you ever want to, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, you know, deal we'll, with us again, we'll sick her on you. And like, right. Ah! And, and she will level your whole block. Like, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so Hina... Hina is is this this odd odd combination of a character who you can tell has had a rough childhood mm -hmm. where she's been right. obviously experimented on or maybe even like had you know, told to do a lot of bad crazy things, yeah. things and kind of been a human mm -hmm. weapon up until this point. But she isn't traumatized by it. It's yeah, like she, well, she has a a lack of expression. Oh, uh, right, definitely. But that like that doesn't necessarily have to be the presence of a negative so much as just a lack of a positive, yes, right? Yes, true. You know, um, and true. so the whole thing of like going to school and things like that and, yeah. and meeting Nita and stuff, it's like, great, that's that's ways that they, that they can start, 
you know, building that and reinforcing right. that. But like right down to arriving in a pod that's like yes. an, an Easter egg kind of a thing and, and that should not be able to actually fit anyone inside it. But then the head's there, but it's like, but it's like lower. So it doesn't look like the person's bunched into being there. It's right. just like the lower half of their body just disappears or something, you know? It, it makes like, me think that on some level there are, because she arrived through a portal. Let's remind ourselves yes. about that. There That's are kind of crazy psychokinetic people out there, stronger than Hina, and they're probably looking for her right about now. Well, and and this is going to be one of those stories where mm-hmm. basically the whole comedy of it is just like she's going to make the lives of the people around her better, and they're in turn going to give her the life that she you know right. never really had up until this point. But- Maybe she saw through TV. But the thing is, is that are there psychics more powerful than her? Because what it seems like, if they introduce more psychics, I get the feeling that they'll go like the kid route, where it's like there's other child weapons that they sort of, you know, sure. That way you can have the super powered like school battles and stuff. But I'm thinking about this more from the technological standpoint of there are psychics that are strong enough to make devices like this and or engineer a portal, a portal. So Hina could have potentially done that. Hina could have potentially done that. That's true. They could go with the when my powers are lo- when I lose my control, my powers, you know, crazy. I can do crazy things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I-, I love the idea of let's take the the psychokinetic girl mm-hmm. and just have comedic craziness ensue. Yep. Because of her being thrown into situations regarding a yakuza. Right. Uh, with like the most yeah, wholesome yakuza soldier. person ever, because like yeah, you know, it's the whole thing of like oh yeah, he never even does any fighting and you know and stuff like that, and 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 even when he's saying like oh I'll take care of it myself, it's like I'll take care of it if she causes a disturbance at the school, like right. you know, and and like the idea of like ah a job, I know exactly what we can do. We're gonna go do some logging, you know, like out out in the woods, <laughs> like. <laughs> it's fantastic oh, because you basically get this guy mm-hmm. who stereotypically would be used as a maybe human weapon and sure. in some yeah. ways he's uh mm-hmm. you know more than that right and hina who has psychokinetic powers mm-hmm. so you know if organizations right. and stuff people powerful people got their hands on her they'd use her as a human weapon exactly but there's a lot more to her than that and they did a really good job in this one episode of making us really sympathize and care about and both sort of, of root them. for both of them in yes. very different ways. Because definitely in the case of Hina, it's like, okay, she's she's a kid, she has a bad past, she has these powers and stuff, and she you know, and she has trouble, you know, dealing with her emotions and stuff. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> right. We're solid there. Yeah. And she's and then, adorable. <laughs> right, and she's adorable. And then we've got this guy, and he's a Yakuza, and it's like, okay, how do we make the audience care about a yakuza and set up this like this this dynamic that these characters have well, we make him an underdog for we one. make him an underdog both in the yakuza but also that hina comes in and like ruins she his life. ruins his life like, basically like, like she like this is this is not at all a thing of like like they 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 bypass that whole idea of like you know uh, extortion or you know or like him him like using her you know for purposes or whatever because no from the get go it's he's just trying to basically survive make sure that she doesn't kill him because yep. you know like what's yep. he gonna do right she just comes up wrecks his stuff oh he says something she doesn't like she wrecks more of his stuff oh and then she then she threatens to twist his arm off you know it's like okay yeah that's terrifying that's terrifying you know it's just it's just Let's just treat it calmly, you know. This 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 person's still a kid, so yeah. I'll you know I'll, I'll just yeah. Right. I, what I what I really like specifically about the guy Nita, mm-hmm. for instance, is that there were multiple opportunities for him to take the route as a character where he uh, tries to escape her and basically right. abandon her. Yeah. And they'd be, it'd be easy for him mm-hmm. to do that. Right, All he just his, goes to work one day and doesn't come back. He goes to work and he yeah. moves locations, he abandons yep. everything mm-hmm. there, especially right. after that explosion. Exactly. Except, if anything, he doesn't stay with her because he's think, not because he's thinking about some kind of utilitarian, like, mm-hmm. ends justify the means kind of thing of utilizing her powers for his own personal gain. Right. If anything, it seems like he has this sense of ownership because this girl just kind of Right, he's going to take care of his life here, Mm -hmm. and a lot of people aren't like that. 
Right. A lot of people aren't like that. In fact, most people aren't like that because I would say most people had this happen. They'd get scared and just call the police. Right. Yeah. Which would they be just, completely understandable. And yeah. and in a lot of cases, the reason that we can have Nita have a reaction like this is because it's anime and he can think about the whole idea of being worried about his life. But <laughs> but since the action and stuff is so cartoonish and everything, it's like, eh, but whatever. What's the worst that she could do in, you know, if she got like if she had a tantrum? twist my head off you know eh, whatever you know well, um, well i think that's that's part of it he did initially have that fear of just like oh cause she could kill me right now like, like yeah oh my god like <laughs> but like, like i just clued into that like his <laughs> response to having the egg you know yes. person in it portal drop on his he head just and looks everything. At it, he's just like okay i'm just gonna forget i saw that and yeah, he yeah. goes back to yeah back to bed thinking he, like he hallucinated it yeah. or something <laughs> just like this is a weird day you know i'll just i'll just keep going about everything and he just goes about it, you know, waking up. Uh, hmm. Of course it would still be there. Of course yeah. it would be. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like that that showcases so much of his character. Right. Of, of just the idea that he's just like, this is a weird thing that I don't understand. I'm going to sleep on it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just going to, I'm not going to freak out. I'm just going to go to bed. Oh, okay. It's still here. Hmm. All right. What do I do? Like it, it's really funny because it, in a lot of ways he's a character that freaks out maybe because of Hina's inconsistencies at certain points there or just kind of the dramatic mm-hmm. aspect of her of her powers and her, right. her random desires mm-hmm. and stuff with regards to like clothes and things like that but he's such a perfect react character yes. like all he does is he's just like yeah. to the every man that's like just needing to deal with this stuff somehow yeah. but yeah. but the idea that he's the every man is at the same time his greatest superpower because that's exactly what hina needs yes so she just it's, needs a, it's a, a great good, balance regular person to be yep. there and, and be give a her a regular normal life yep. yeah and and mm-hmm. and it's so sweet to think about too because in a lot of ways, he's anything but normal in regards oh, to yeah. regular life. Right. Because he's a freaking he's criminal. Like, yeah. He's, like, <laughs> he's an organized criminal. Like, right. And he's, and he's not like, he's not like some, you know, some person who like ran into trouble with the law or whatever and, you know, whatever. It's like, he's fairly high up. Like, he's... Well, a, now he, uh, now he well, definitely Well, right. Is. But even, even before then, he was managing. Like, he was, he was acquiring goods and, you know, and doing eh, trades and things yeah. like that. And, yeah. Like... Yeah, he wasn't a street level thug. Right, yes, exactly. But, but he wasn't he wasn't really at a desk or anything like that. It seemed like it, more sure. of anything he would take point on specific deals, like with the auction and things. Yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. definitely not <laughs> not the uh, not the type that was uh, comfortable with a gun either. <laughs> yes, yes. But he was he was gonna do it, and he and he and he didn't ask her to help him. That's true. He was like, I, All right, I. I I, I knew that was how they had to do it. Mm, yep. And it was so satisfying to see that he, you know, was like, nah, yeah. are you mental? Like, no. Right, like, yeah, no, there's no I, way I would I do, do that. I love the, are you mental? It's like, well, mm, psychokinetic. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. she's definitely a there. mentally based uh, right, super, right. super yeah, human. Exactly. Yeah. But there were so many little, little jokes and things mm-hmm. like that in this episode that I, I, I felt like they let the comedy be there. Mm-hmm. But more allowed, basically, the absurdity of the plot right. to carry the humor mm-hmm. because there yes. were there were little wordplay joke things that were just like it's like okay that that was that was funny and stuff there. So it's clearly a comedy, but also the the story and plot has elements of things that are beyond just comedy. Yeah, there's an actual like weird mystery kind of science fiction mm-hmm. thing going on here yep there's the whole crime thriller thing of what he brings right. to the table there's the aspect of wait this could be one of those slice of life like awkward wholesome father things. daughter yeah, wholesome exactly. things i it's love like, those I, like, it's just oh yeah. it's a weird and, mishmash and i i yep. I, I, mm-hmm. I can't wait for more of it yeah and then they did a they did an in media res thing without connecting back to the beginning right so that's a new character because that's not hina like we've never We've right. never seen her before. The girl who was doing the what color hair did she have again? Uh, red, yeah, like pink, pink red. You know, kind of like okay, anime yeah. red. You know, right, right, like, uh huh, like yeah, orange basically. Okay. okay, yeah. And she said like, "Wait for me, Hina," or something like that. So right. maybe, maybe what it is is she's she's like a friend of Hina's she's that a friend also of Hina's, has maybe either. Well, okay, she doesn't necessarily have superpowers because like uh, she because like she could. 
She was could. beating people up with an effigy hammer thing. Oh, is that what that was? It I had, had like I had no idea. Do you want to see what that was? It was actually like it hilarious. had a face on it. It had a face and hair. And the thing was, is I think she was ventri using ventric ventric ventrilo ventriloquism. ventriloquism to make the head talk and make these sounds and stuff. Wait. So yeah, so she's got pink yeah, uh -huh. kind of red hair. Right. Oh wait, Rock, the guy in the background there. Oh that yeah, that guy was in the uh, the ED. He yes. was the one that was floating and uh, doing karaoke. doing karaoke. Yeah. So okay. yeah, so when when this whole thing was going on and she was fighting with the blue haired mm -hmm. mug or whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, that's a gigantic mug that's like anthropomorphized and exactly. has a wig on the top for some reason. <laughs> yes. Or maybe it's like upside down and there's like a cap on it that. I but. Don't know. It it was uh -huh. almost like the thing itself was making noises like Wacha, wacha, wacha. <laughs> like I did not catch like, that. Like like listen to this. This is hilarious. Listen to this. This is this is really just because they're clearly all like knocked out, right? Right, right. Uh huh. Yeah. Let me let me show you. Oh, <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, yeah. See, and then it wow. and then it happens after it. So wow. it's it's like. Either either it's making noise, like it is anthropomorphized, like right, it right. has or, some level of sentience. Or like she has some like speed wagon person that's like hold, hold, hold. Yeah. <laughs> Or or the people are somehow making that noise as they're getting beat up, but that... yeah, who knows? I just I just love the silliness of it. I'm like Yeah, that's that's pretty I was wacky. like, wait, what? Yep, and then yep. um and then the the little end end credits reference thing to Terminator. To Terminator. Oh that yeah, that was, was that, that was, was wonderful. Hilarious. That was like I I wouldn't I did not expect that because okay the whole thing of like the the transformation you know whatever and right. all that it's like okay cool but like Terminator's old like like hey, really old. I think they're just saying we're gonna make pop culture references. No right right but like but I, I would not have I, I would not have expected something going back to such a classic like so. I mean, like like a, it's that's, not that old. Like it's uh, it's newer than Star Wars. Like sure, but like but like I I would consider that on the same level as like if they reference Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard's way newer than. Terminator, oh yeah, way newer though. than Terminator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But like I, that was just great. That yeah, was, that was I think it's more kind of a thing of saying like ah the weapon from the future basically kind of sure thing. the the oh mysterious my stranger that comes from you know another wait through a portal. Three years, three years earlier. What if? Nah. What no, if? It's not what if she travel. is actually from no, the future, though? No. What if, though? What if? I mean, I mean, okay, saying. okay, they could, but the depends on is, how silly they want to make well, this. Well, here's the reason why I don't think they're going to, because <laughs> because if you think about, because it, okay, if you do time travel and stuff like that, then you then what the 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 reason why time travel can be so tough from a not from a plot perspective because from a plot perspective sure but if you're if you're using it for more like a for more like the the romantic style of storytelling where you use it as just a, a mechanic to have crazy stuff happen uh -huh. then cool but with character dynamics it gets wonky because then there's the what people know versus what happened to them and what didn't happen and you know and things like that and like yeah. i don't know I don't know. I think I think I think you're taking it way too seriously. Probably, probably. way too seriously. Like if they did have time travel in this show, they would probably be doing it like multiple times an episode, and they'd just be like, "Oh, let's go over here and talk to this." No, oh, no. I'm just you know, saying that at whatever. some point they could touch up on the idea of time travel. And Jacob, this is that's why I wanted to showcase back that thing in the beginning. It's like I think that's how silly this show is going to be. They had sure, the girl yeah. beating them up with an anthropomorphized wooden mug thing, and, doing and then was doing ventriloquism for the mug, for the mug hitting them, going "Watch all, watch all, watch all." Yes, that's that. That is like some yeah. some like yeah. we don't care at all about taking this seriously. Right. Stuff. Well, and right. especially with how they like with how they set up the whole idea. <laughs> My of... smartphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like when. <clears throat> When when it's like okay you're gonna have to assault the assault the fortress right you know that that was very much a setup for like something that would be a very serious thing now granted they were going for the feels route right you know of of like oh she's she's helping him out right she, you know she cares about him and everything but the that was that was very much the setup for something serious which of course then you know is going to you know be resolved in a in a comedic way yeah um, yeah. yeah 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 oh yeah. man this show this show I but I feel like I I feel like I have a perfect like picture of what the show's about and what it's like mm -hmm. and at the same time i don't because mm -hmm. this episode was 
almost entirely the in media res, and we haven't gotten back to the present time yet. So, mm-hmm. are they going to spend more time at school? Are they going to spend more time with the 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 like the the the, uh, the yakuza stuff and all that, or or what? Like, or slice of life and having sushi and things. We'll see. Yeah, I guess. We'll see. Wow. Well, yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction discussion oh, right now, man. go check out the link in the description below mm-hmm. for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. Provided there's no issues with anything, you can get full-length reaction there right. as well. And any level of support gets you access to our mm-hmm. Discord where you can chat with us and our awesome community about mm-hmm. this show, or about anime in general, or just whatever. Yep. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But, but before, before that, that <clears throat> so my sci-fi novel Battle Lines is available for order right now. The link to the Amazon you know, thing is in the description down below. If you're international, you can only get the ebook because there's some complications with that. But it's an amazing story. A lot of people on the Discord are talking about it. So, you know, you can join the discussion there. And lastly, thank you for getting us to watch this show. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I love it. Yeah, this is this is an awesome one. Yeah. And it's been on a lot of polls for a while yes. now. So, so it's finally won. It's finally won. So, yeah. yeah. See you all in uh, the next one. But mm-hmm. until then, we're a semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.